Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji. Alam naman natin sa Pilipinas, palagi na lang umuulan, di ba? That's why we have on the show today a non-profit that everybody needs to find out about. It's called Pedro, or in, it's a Philippine Disaster Relief Organization. It's a non-profit uh, corporation formed in 2004, so 11 years now, in response to a call from the Philippine Consulate Office in Los Angeles under Consul General Painter to find help and to get donors to be able to assist victims of the devastating typhoons that uh, have hit uh, the Quezon province in southern Luzon at the time. This organization is made up of volunteers. Kasama natin si Mirna Bakuli, who is a retired RN, also a mom, grandma, who is also a community leader and volunteer, and presently she's the president and chairperson of Pedro Philippine Disaster Relief Organization. Joining her is our superstar, Becky. Godinez. Uh, it, for those of you who don't know, she was the first, okay, first pop singer songwriter of the 1980s in the Philippines, so dear to my heart. She's also an actress, a producer, a director. I uh, would like to emulate her career. <laughs> <laughs> she uses her work on stage and in the community to always give back. So they're here on Kababayan today. Hello. Hello. Hi, G. Sorry, ah, medyo mataas yung energy uh -huh. ko. Oh, diba? Uh, excited ako na nandito kayo kasi pag-usapan natin to, uh, alam naman natin sa Pilipinas, palagi na lang bumabaha, palagi na lang may bagyo, di ba? Uh, ang mga Pilipino dito, nag-iisip sila, pa paano ba sila tumu pwedeng tumulong? E paulit-ulit na lang talaga, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about first statistics when it comes to um, yung mga bagyo sa Pilipinas. According to the DOST, and I thought it was Department of Storm and Typhoon, hindi pala. It's Department of Science and Technology or Pag-asa. Alam nyo po ba na since 2014, last year, there have been nine typhoons and five storms. Can you imagine living in an environment that you don't know if yung, yung roof mo, di ba? Kung ililipad, kung mababaha kayo. I mean, this is what you deal with when you live in the Philippines. Correct. And it doesn't matter the kung mahirap ka, kung mayaman ka, lahat no affected. One is spared. No one is spared. So, pag-usapan natin uh, ang mga nangyayari sa Pilipinas, paulit-ulit na lang, nakakatakot ano. Tita Mirna, um, I know that you started this in 2004, but why... Why have you really spearheaded this, this organization? Okay, actually in 2004, we got involved because my husband, Dr. Manuel Bakuli, was president of the Philippine Medical As Association of Southern California, mm -hmm. and the consulate office called him for assistance. And so we worked together with them and Luckily, we were able to uh, have some funding, and we were uh, one of the first donors in the disasters that hit the Quezon province. Okay, so since 2004. That was 2004. Ang dami na nangyari. Yes. Since uh -huh. then, and I'm sure you've been very active. Um, Becca, let's talk about all of the stuff that's happening in the Philippines as a Filipino American here. Right. The first thing that you, I, I want to introduce to this and uh -oh. why this is close to me. Do you remember Typhoon Yoling? That was 19, I'm dating myself, 1970-something. Oh. And the city was devastated. I visit, I saw a roof fly out from our subdivision, from a neighbor's house to another. And this was volunteerism uh, beyond, beyond expectation. All of us just found a way to get to television stations and everything to tie things up, you know, and, and help. Mm -hmm. And so it began even then, the realization that, that our country is, is it's always there. It's always going to happen. Uh, so itong what's happening today, mm -hmm. I think with me anyway, G, the question that's always asked is, what are we doing? Why does it always flood? Why, what are we doing structurally with our streets, with our, you know, what are we doing? And I don't claim to know what the answer is. The only thing na kaya talagang gawan, ginagawa ng tao, ginagawa ng tao is to lean on organizations like Pedro, mm -hmm. you know, to look for these answers. And the best thing that they're doing right now is just being there. 
there's a, a multi-step process. Pagbalik po natin here on Kababayan today, we will spell out that process because we all need to help. We'll be right back.